Um, it's Jacqueline again um, with some more Pilates. Hopefully you've enjoyed the last few videos and have started to feel the benefit um, in your body and sort of body awareness. Um, before we get going today, talking about benefits of exercise, um, obviously I can talk for hours about the physical benefit of doing Pilates and yoga and all this um, hit stuff and the body rock stuff. But I also sort of wanted to talk to you about the emotional benefit that exercise and working out and Pilates and yoga brings to me. Um, so I just wanted to share something personal with you. About two weeks ago, uh, my grandmother actually passed away and two weeks prior to that, I lost my father. So things have been kind of tough for me and I've definitely used exercise and going to the gym and doing these Pilates workouts as sort of a way to help me find my center again. And sometimes when you lose somebody super close to you, I don't know if you've ever felt this before, but it's like your mind is racing and all you can do is think about how much you miss them and that you're never going to see them again and have those talks or share those times and it's really tough. And I find that when I can lay down and talk about glutes or think about my glutes or get on the treadmill or go for a run or do 10 burpees, that's the only time that my mind sort of quiets. And it's really important to me. And I love to say that I live and breathe this because exercise and doing this kind of stuff is the reason why I can get through the everyday and I hope that for others it's the same and I hope that they can see that same benefit and if I can help you get through that hard time just a little bit by teaching you about adductors or glutes um, <laughs> I really hope that that's possible because it's really helped me. Okay so on that note why don't we talk about our glutes so right now today you're going to focus on your glute needs so that is the muscle that's sort of right up at the top. A lot of people like to call it saddlebags, but I like to call it glute needs because that's definitely a lot more prettier of a word. So what we're gonna do is laying on our side, on your mat. Again, same like with the adductors, you're gonna be holding onto your head, so none of this, nothing's falling down. Lift it up. Um, your top part of your uh, body, so your back, should be parallel to the back of the mat. And I want your shins, so this part of your leg, to be parallel to the front of the mat. So ideally, you want to be at two 90 degree angles. That's extremely, extremely important for this exercise. The reason why is that the second you're at two 90 degree angles, your hips are going to be stacked on top of each other. And the entire benefit comes in Pilates, like we've talked about a little bit, from doing things technically perfect. And I know that that seems like a super high standard, but for Pilates, that's the way that you're going to receive everything that you possibly could out of doing this school of exercise. So in order to make sure that your hips right now are stacked on top of each other, you're just going to use your forearm and you're going to find those two hip bones and your forearm should be totally straight as they press against. Um, now as you go through these exercises today, I want you to keep taking sort of like a mental note to touch those two hip bones. Make sure that they're stacked. So sometimes the tendency will be to roll back. So the second that you see that, you'll also see your knees sort of sliding apart from each other. So always just bring it back. Always bring it back. And if you know what, if you lose it and you, you've got to set up again, that's totally fine. You'll probably already feel it because as you go through these exercises, again, I want you to feel your glute knees, which is right up here. So you've got three glutes in your glute heels, glute knee, glute min, glute max. Um, these are for your meat. All right, so the reason why we do this is to help get those glutes firing again. Glute meads are really not often targeted, especially not if you're doing things improperly. You don't really get them in squats, you don't really get them in lunges. Um, so this, this type of exercise is really great for runners especially because they're not often using them and this is something that will really help drive you through those runs. Um, okay, so why don't we start? So the first thing you're gonna do is put your hand here and or make sure that they're stacked. This is to help you from falling this way. Um, I like to keep my hand here. The first thing that you're gonna do is called a 90 degree lift. So it just looks like this. 
up and down. Now you might not be able to go so high if your hips are stacked, and that's fine, because you're gonna work up to it. So um, if you feel like you have to sort of lean back in order to achieve a big lift, don't do it. If you can only get up this high, that's totally fine. I've been doing this for a while, so if I can get up a lot higher, that's just because I'm used to the exercise. You will feel this up here, right up here. That's where you should feel it. If you feel any pain shooting down along your IT band, which is a muscle that, that sort of runs along here, um, that's okay. That's normal. You can feel pain there, it's totally fine. Um, just make sure again that you also feel it up here. So I want you to do 10 90 degree lifts. So just going up and down, and if you want to stop at the top a little bit and just feel that squeeze in the glute meat just to make sure that you're getting that proper awareness, that's totally great. Now as for your foot, you can flex it or you can just leave it. I tend to just leave it. Um, it's not really a big deal. Another thing while you're doing this, make sure that you're pulling in those abs so they're not just flopping out. Make sure that they're there. Your abs are always there, especially in Pilates where it's super core, core muscle related. You've got to tuck those abs in. Okay, so let's go through 10 up and downs at 90 degrees. So these are just called 90 degree lifts. Um, when you've done 10, you're gonna extend that leg out, knees on top of each other, okay? So for a lot of people, this might be tough, and if you have to sort of bring your leg back, that's fine, but you really wanna work up to two knees on top of each other. That's how you're gonna really focus on that glute meat here. Again, hand in front, and once more, hips totally have to be stacked, pull those abs in, okay? Up and down. So once more, if you can't get that full range of motion by going all the way up and you find like you're leaning back, just come forward. If you can't go that high, if it's just like a little pulse almost, that's totally fine. You're gonna go through 10 of these. You notice that I'm pointing my toe. For this particular exercise, unlike the 90 degree lifts, you're gonna wanna point your toe. Just easier and then you won't find like it's falling and flopping down. When you flop down, you'll feel sort of like a stretch to your hamstring. That's not right. So just point that toe, keep that there go through 10 of those. You'll find that it's starting to get pretty tough. So just relax after you've done 10. Sometimes I like to hit my muscle, maybe you've seen that in a Pilates class, just to get the lactic acid sort of out of that area, because it can get pretty intense for these particular exercises. Um, when you're done with that one, bend the knee, again, two 90 degree angles, take a look, see, make sure that your two hips are stacked again, hand in front, and you're gonna do something called clamshells. Um, that's because it literally looks like a clamshell. Your feet are gonna be together, and you're just gonna open up at the knee. Again, this is not a large movement. You don't need to come back like this. Again, the second that you start doing that, the second your hip comes back, push it forward. It's a little one, just like this, up and down. 10 reps of those until you're done, and then just relax again. Shake out that muscle if you want, you can hit it. And then you're gonna go into the 90 degree lifts again, okay? So I want you to go through that 10 of each, 90 degree lifts, straight leg, point that toe, up and down, 10 lifts, bend that knee, feet together, knees come apart, up and down, clamshells. That's gonna be pretty intense. You should be feeling this in your glute meat, probably after even just the first few uh, times that you do these reps. Gonna go through that three times of each, and then you're gonna go into something called bicycles. So again, Hand in front, now this one's kind of tough, so I want you to bear with me. All you're gonna do is lift that leg up. To start, you're gonna pull your knee into your chest, super tight, as tight as you can go. If you can only get to here, that's fine too. Just try to bring your knee as close to your body as possible. Again, maintaining those hips being stacked, super important. Pull your knee into your chest, kick out, and then come all the way around, and you'll notice as I come around, my hips don't move. Okay, so make sure that you're not rolling back, that's wrong. Push that hip forward, suck those abs in, kick your butt, so you're gonna be sort of like at an angle here, almost like you're running, and then you're gonna bring that knee back into the chest, kick forward and around. Now it's called bicycles, why? Because it kind of looks like I'm riding a bicycle, I think. <laughs> um, and I want you to do 10 repetitions. This needs to be super slow and controlled. The reason why I don't want you rushing through is because you see how my hips start dancing and I start sort of like coming back and forth. You have to maintain hip stability through these exercises by keeping those hips stacked, don't move them. So it should look like this. Full range of motion. You will feel a little bit of stretch in your quads as you do this, especially because you're tightening up those glutes behind you 
um, you should be able to feel sort of like a really, really hard contracted muscle as you touch your, your heel to your um, butt when you do this. Okay, so slow and control, 10 reps. All right, now when you're done that, you're gonna flip it. I call it the ice cream scoop because again, pull that knee to that chest. Try to get your heel as close to your butt as you can and you're gonna come around. It's just the opposite of what you just did. Scoop it out like an ice cream cone and bring it forward. And then bring your knee in, scoop it out. Again, do you see how my hips are not moving? It, this is really important. So even if you have to do three reps and go as slow as possible to achieve this, it's super important. All the way around forward, kick your butt. Again, all the way around. When you're done that, 10 reps of forward bicycle and backwards bicycle, I want you to go right back into those leg lifts, up and down. Okay, this is just to sort of max out, fire those glute needs. And you'll, you should really be feeling this by now. I'm feeling this already, this is pretty crazy. Um, up and down, 10 reps, bend the knee, back to clamshell. 10 reps, and then relax. And then go back into it again. Bicycles forward, 10 reps, slow and control. Watch those hips. And then scoop it out, slow and control. Watch those hips, pull those abs in. 10 reps of these. Finishing with your knees on top of each other, 10 reps, up and down. Slow and control, hips stacked. Bend the knee, only open up at the knee. Hips stacked, clamshells. When you're done with that, you're gonna rest, shake it out a little bit, and then I want you to bring your leg back. So the top leg and your entire upper body should be one straight line. This leg stays at 90 degrees. And all you're gonna do here is pretty simple, lifting. Point that toe, lift up and down. Make sure those hips stay stacked. You may feel this a little bit in your obliques, so your side. Okay, that's totally fine, I want that. This is definitely core activation as well, as glute need. So right up here and right here is where you're gonna feel this. 10 reps, just keep going through it, pull those abs in, and then back to the bicycle again. 10 repetitions, bicycles forward, full range of motion, watching those hips, and then again, scooping it out, ice cream bicycles, whatever you want to call them. I think I made that up myself, actually. <laughs> and then again, back to the beginning, up and down, leg lifts, 10 repetitions, and then bending that knee, only opening up at the knee, 10 repetitions. Okay, and you can go through that three times as well. So starting with up and down, bicycles forward, Bicycles backwards, scooping out the ice cream, leg lifts, clamshells. All right, so once you're done that, I like to stretch in between switching legs because you'll find that you're gonna be on fire, which is pretty intense with this. I like to do a seated twist stretch for these. So um, if you are flexible and you've done yoga or Pilates before, or you just like to stretch, you can do the seated twist where the leg that you're stretching is on top, and the one on the bottom is the one that's just relaxing. Pull it over. Take a deep inhale. Open up your chest to your heart. One hand comes behind. You're going to grab around that leg and so that your opposite shoulder to knee is touching, and then just look behind you. Okay, and you should feel the stretch through the glute meat, especially in the glutes when you're doing this. Make sure that you do the opposing stretch just to get that spinal twist. So you're going to twist look behind you the other direction, and then come back to the middle. And then you can switch sides and do the same thing. Now, if you can't do this, if that's too much for this leg, you can always keep one leg forward and then just do it more simpler way like that. Okay, guys, so hopefully you like that. Hopefully you'll be able to feel what's going on and, and grab some muscles, get them going that you've never felt before. Um, glute meads are super important. Um, especially for hip stability and also for hip mobility. So this is definitely one of my favorite exercises and it's definitely part of the classical Pilates series. 
So hopefully you can get it done and hopefully you enjoyed it and I wish you guys luck and hope to see you for the next videos.